hi hello welcome to my channel learn more math my name is varakumar today we are going to solve a problem from uh, fifth chapter quadratic equations uh, exercise 5.2 first problem so we have completed 5.1 exercise so today we are going to learn problems from 5.2 exercise this is the first problem uh, see here what he is asking to find us find the roots of the following quadratic equations by factorization so he is asking to find the roots of the quadratic equations by factorization method so we have two types of methods to find the uh, roots of the quadratic equations factorization method and completing the square method so in 5.3 exercise uh, we will do problems uh, using completing the square method but here we have to find using factorization method so this is the first bit in the first problem so totally we have nine bits in the first problem so this is the first one we have to solve one by one so see here what he has given x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 so see here how can we find so roots are nothing but the values of x here so here multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant term see here what is the coefficient of x square here the coefficient of x square is 1 and the coefficient of x is minus 3 and constant is minus 10 so here uh, multiply the coefficient of x square that is 1 into with constant that is minus 10 so 1 into minus 10 is equal to minus 10 so now we have to select two factors for minus 10 their product should be minus 10 and their sum should be minus 3 so what are the possible factors and now we have to select so 1 into minus 10 suppose if you take 1 into minus 10 equal to minus 10 if you add 1 minus 10 equal to minus 9 but here minus 3 we require so i am taking uh, next to 2 into 5 is 10 2 into 5 is equal to 10 but uh, here 2 plus 5 is 7 so here we require minus 10 so if we take minus 2 into plus 5 it is minus 10 but minus 2 plus 5 is plus 3 here we require minus 3 hence we have to take uh, 2 into minus 5 2 into minus 5 equal to minus 10 and 2 minus 5 is minus 3 2 minus 5 is minus 3 so these two are the correct factors so 2 into minus 5 equal to minus 10 and 2 minus 5 is minus 3 yes so see here how can we write up so write x square as usual but this minus 3x split this middle term as 2x minus 5x so this only minus 3x you have to split as plus 2x minus 5x so here i am writing plus 2x minus 5x and write the last term that is minus 10 is equal to 0 just we have to split the middle term using the factors so in the first two terms x is common so i am taking x as common in the first two terms so what we get see here x into so in x square one x is common remaining one x will be so in two x x is common next we have plus two here plus two so see here next in these two terms minus five is common so minus 5 is common if you take minus 5 as common what will be here only x will be so in minus 10 can be written as 2 into minus 5 so here minus 5 is common what is there plus 2 here plus 2 is equal to 0 again if you multiply you can get the uh, before steps t here x into x x square plus x into 2 2x minus 5 into x minus 5x minus 5 into plus 2 minus 10 so here uh, x plus 2 is there in the first term in the second term also x plus 2 is there so now take x plus 2 as common so here x plus 2 take as common so next what will be here 
here x is there next here minus 5 is there is equal to 0 so now the product of these two equal to 0 when it is possible either x plus 2 equal to 0 or x minus 5 equal to 0 so here we can write uh, either x plus 2 equal to 0 or x minus 5 equal to 0 so we get here plus take plus 2 to the right side we can get x is equal to minus 2 or here take <coughs> minus 5 to the right side we can get x is equal to plus 5 therefore the roots of the so see here therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation are minus 2 and 5 so like this we have to find the roots of the given quadratic equation by factorization method so this is the first bit uh, next we have to solve second bit so this is the second bit in the first problem 2x square plus x minus 6 equal to 0 so here what is the coefficient of x square it is a 2 the coefficient of x is 1 and the constant is minus 6 so again multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant that is coefficient of x square is 2 and the constant is minus 6 2 into minus 6 is equal to minus 12 so now we have to select two factors for minus 12 their product should be minus 12 and sum should be plus 1 so if you take 2 and minus 6 uh, 2, and, 2 into minus 6 is minus 12 but uh, 2 minus 6 is minus 4 but here plus 1 is there if you take minus 2 and plus 6 minus 2 into 6 is minus 12 but minus 2 plus 6 is plus 4 so next we have to suppose if you take 1 into 12 so see here what are first you have to write all possible uh, factors for 12 1 into 12 so next uh, 2 into 6 already we have written so next 3 into 4 so these are the possible factors for 12 so if you take 1 into 12 is 12 but uh, if you take minus 1 and minus 12 so minus 1 into plus 12 is minus 12 minus 1 plus 12 is uh, plus 11 so here it is not possible so if you take plus 1 and minus 12 also it is not possible so if you take 3 into uh, suppose here plus 1 is there hence we have to take uh, minus to the 3 so minus 3 into plus 4 is minus 12 and minus 3 plus 4 is plus 1 so these two are the correct factors okay is it clear so now how can we write see here write 2x square as usual but this plus x we have to write as plus x can be written as minus 3x plus 4x minus 3x plus 4x I am writing or we can write plus 4x minus 3x plus 4x minus 3x so plus x I have written as plus 4x minus 3x so next what is there here minus 6 you write as usual minus 6 you write as usual is equal to 0 so in the first two terms so what is common 2x is common here 2x is common so I am taking 2x as common 2x into so in 2x square if you take 2x as common 1x will be so in 4x or 2x is common you can get only 2 so again if you multiply so you can get the above step uh, 2x into x 2x square 2x into plus 2 plus 4x so in the last two terms what is common so minus 3 is common minus 3 so if you take minus 3 common here you can get plus x in minus 6 minus 3 can, so 6 can be written as 3 into 2 so minus 3 is common again you can get plus 2 is equal to 0 so here uh, x plus 2 is common in both the terms so I am taking x plus 2 as common so x plus 2 into so here what you get here 2x is there 2x so here minus 3 is there is equal to 0 so now either x plus 2 equal to 0 or 2x minus 3 equal to 0 either x plus 2 equal to 0 or 2x minus 3 equal to 0 
so now have to find the value of x so here x plus 2 equal to 0 take plus to the right side so we can get x is equal to minus 2 or here 2x is equal to minus 3 take minus 3 to the right side x is equal to 3 uh, that implies 2x is equal to 3 here x is equal to 3 by 2 so therefore the roots are minus 2 and 3 by 2 therefore we have to write uh, so therefore we have to write the roots of the given qe means quadratic equation or minus 2 and 3 by 2 so this is a, a second bit in the first problem next we have to solve third bit uh, this is the third bit uh, square root to x square plus 7x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 so don't get fear by seeing the root 2 terms in the given quadratic equation just you follow the method you can get definitely uh, your answer so don't get confused uh, see here uh, uh, here the x square coefficient is a root 2 x coefficient is a 7 and the constant is 5 root 2 so what we have to do in the first step multiply the x square coefficient with the constant so here x square coefficient is a root 2 so we have to multiply the x square coefficient with the constant constant is 5 root 2 so root 2 into 5 root 2 so here 1 into 5 is 5 uh, root 2 into root 2 is 2 so we can get 5 into 2 is 10 so here uh, 10 it is a 10 so now we have to select factors for 10 their product should be plus 10 some should be 7 so these two are the factors so 5 into 2 is 10 5 plus 2 is 7 yes 5 these two are the factors so now write root 2 x square as usual a root 2 x square plus this 7x write as 2x plus 5x 2x plus 5x so write 2x plus 5x and 5 root 2 write as usual 5 root 2 is equal to 0 so in the first two terms what is common here root 2 and x is common root 2 x is common so here see here write root 2 x is common root 2 into x is common so here root 2 is common in x square 1 x is common what will be here only x will be x so in 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2 so 1 root 2 is common and x is common remaining 1 root 2 will be remaining 1 root 2 will be so see here again if you multiply root 2 into x root 2 x into x root 2 x square root 2 into root 2 2 into x so in these two what is common plus 5 is common so in the last two terms plus 5 is common so here what we get so here x will be plus here what will be a root 2 root 2 is equal to 0 so now x plus root 2 is common so now see here x plus root 2 is common x plus root 2 into so what will be here root 2 x here root 2 x plus 5 what is there here plus 5 is equal to 0 so now x plus root 2 equal to 0 or root 2 x plus 5 equal to 0 so here we can write uh, x plus root 2 equal to 0 or root 2 x plus 5 is equal to 0 so take plus root 2 to the right side it becomes minus root 2 here we get x is equal to minus root 2 or here root 2 x is equal to minus 5 take plus 5 to the right side it becomes root 2 sorry not root 5 it is 5 only so root 2 x is equal to minus 5 then we get here x is equal to minus 5 divided by root 2 minus 5 divided by root 2 so here in the denominator it is root 2 is there then we have to rationalize it so into root 2 divided by root 2 so this is the 
rationalization we get finally minus 5 root 2 divided by 2 so minus 5 into root 2 minus 5 root 2 root 2 into root 2 2 so here whenever you get a root term in the denominator we have to rationalize there so here the rationalizing factor of root 2 is root 2 so multiply and divide with root 2 so minus 5 into root 2 is 5 root 2 root 2 into root 2 is 2 now we got a uh, root uh, root term in the numerator so here therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation are minus root 2 comma minus 5 root 2 divided by 2 so that we have to write there so therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation are minus root 2 and minus 5 root 2 divided by 2 so this is the third bit in the uh, first, uh, first problem so next we have to do fourth bit so this is the fourth bit in the first problem uh, see here what he has given 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 is equal to 0 so don't get fear by observing 1 by 8 in the given problem so just you have to follow the method you can get definitely get the roots so here uh, what is the coefficient of x square A coefficient of x square is uh, 2 uh, what is the coefficient of x it is minus 1 what is the constant 1 by 8 so first we have to multiply the coefficient of x square uh, with the constant so here uh, coefficient of x square is a 2 and the constant is 1 by 8 so 2 into 1 by 8 we can get 2 by 8 2 by 8 is nothing but 1 by 4 so cancel by 2 we can get 1 by 4 so now you have to select factors for 1 by 4 their product should be 1 by 4 and the sum should be minus 1 so I am taking minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 is equal to plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 is plus 1 by 4 so here minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 we can get a minus 1 it is minus 2 divided by 2 we can get minus 1 so here minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 are the factors so see here how can we write first to write 2x square as usual but this minus x we have to write minus x by 2 minus x by 2 so I am writing minus x by 2 and here also minus x by 2 and write the constant 1 by 8 as usual plus 1 by 8 this is the constant is equal to 0 so now what is common in the first two terms so here uh, 2x is common if you take 2x as common so in the first term only x will be x will be so here uh, only x is there 2x is not there suppose if we multiply and divide this term by 2 it becomes 2x by 4 it becomes 2x by 4 if you take 2x as common here we get minus 1 by 4 so that you have to understand see here so if you multiply again 2x into x 2x square 2x into minus 1 by 4 minus 2x by 4 again if you cancel 2 2 you can get minus x by 2 so this you have to understand here so next what is there in these two minus x by 2 plus 1 by 8 is there so here take minus 1 by 2 common here minus 1 by 2 so here minus 1 by 2 is common here only x will be so in 1 by 8 minus 1 by 2 is common again we get minus 1 by 4 what we get here minus 1 by 4 is equal to 0 so again multiply minus 1 by 2 into x minus x by 2 minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 just you have to understand this step so next x minus 1 by 4 is common so i am taking x minus 1 by 4 as common x minus 1 by 4 into so what is there here 2x minus here what is there 1 by 2 is equal to 0 so now x minus 1 by 4 equal to 0 or 
2x minus 1 by 2 equal to 0. 2x minus 1 by 2 equal to 0. So take minus 1 by 4 to the right side. We get x is equal to plus 1 by 4. Or here 2x is equal to take minus 1 by 2 to the right side. It becomes plus 1 by 2. 2x is equal to 1 by 2. We get x is equal to 1 by 4 again. So here 2 is multiplying. It divides again. x is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. 1 by 4. Therefore the roots of the. So therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation are 1 by 4 and 1 by 4. So like this we can find. Uh, this is the fourth beta. Next we have to solve fifth beta. So this is the fifth bit in the first problem 100x square minus 20x plus 1 equal to 0. So here x square coefficient is 100, x coefficient is minus 20, constant is 1. So again first step uh, how to multiply the coefficient of x square by the constant. So here uh, coefficient of x square is 100 and the constant is 1. 100 into 1 is equal to 100. So now we have to select two factors for 100. Their product should be 100. Their sum should be minus 20. So I am selecting minus 10 and minus 10. So minus 10 into minus 10 is equal to plus 100. Minus 10 into minus 10 equal to plus 100. But minus 10 plus minus 10 we get minus 20. So these two are the correct factors. So now see here how can we write a uh, write 100x square as usual but this uh, split the middle term minus 20x write as minus 10x minus 10x. So I am writing here minus 10x minus 10x and write the constant plus 1 as usual is equal to 0. So in the first two terms 10x is common. So write 10x as common. So in 100x square 10x is common. What will be? Again 10x is there. Again 10x. And here minus 10x is uh, 10x is common. We get minus 1 here. So in these two what is common? Uh, minus 1 is common. So here we get 10x. Here we get a minus 1 is equal to 0. So just you have to understand the step. So again if you multiply 10x into 10x, 100x square, 10x into minus 1, minus 10x, minus 1 into 10x, minus 10x, minus 1 into minus 1, plus 1 is equal to 0. So again 10x minus 1 is common. So I am taking 10x minus 1 as common. So 10x minus 1 into so what is there here? 10x is there. Again here what is there? Minus 1 is equal to 0. So here 10x minus 1 is uh, 10x minus 1 is equal to 0. Or here also 10x minus 1 is equal to 0. So both are equal roots. So here 10x is equal to 1. 10x is equal to 1 or here also 10x is equal to 1 so here we get x is equal to 1 by 10 x is equal to 1 by 10 or x is equal to here also 1 by 10 take 10 to the right side therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation are 1 by 10 and 1 by 10 so that we have to write there Therefore, the roots of the given quadratic equation are 1 by 10 and 1 by 10. So, this is the fifth bit in the first problem. Next, we have to solve sixth bit. So, this is the sixth bit in the first problem. Uh, x into x plus 4 is equal to 12. So, just we have to write like this. Uh, here, multiply by x. Uh, what we get? See here, x into x, we get x square and x into 4 is plus 4x and then take plus 12 to the left side it becomes minus 12 is equal to 0. So see here what I did just multiplied by x here x into x is x square x into plus 4 is plus 4x then after take 
plus 12 to the left side it becomes minus 12 is equal to 0 so now x square plus 4x minus 12 equal to 0 so this is the given quadratic equation so what is the coefficient of x square it is 1 coefficient of x is 4 and constant is minus 12 so now multiply the coefficient of x square by the constant so that is 1 into minus 12 1 into minus 12 equal to minus 12 so now you have to select two factors for minus 12 their product should be minus 12 their sum should be plus 4 so i am selecting here uh, see here uh, 2 into 6 but uh, here uh, plus 6 plus 4 is there i am selecting minus 2 and plus 6 so minus 2 into 6 is minus 12 minus 2 into 6 is minus 12 next to minus 2 plus 6 we get plus 4 so these two are the correct factors uh, so see here how can we write uh, uh, first to write the x square term as usual but this plus 4x write as minus 2x plus 6x so minus 2x plus 6x minus 12 equal to 0 so now in these two terms x is common so take x as common what we get x into in x square one x is common remaining one x will be in minus 2x x is common we have minus 2 so in the last two terms uh, plus 6 is common so take plus 6 is common plus 6 into so here x will be so here minus 2 will be is equal to 0 so again x minus 2 is common in both the terms uh, take x minus 2 as common so x minus 2 into so here x will be so here plus 6 is there is equal to 0 so finally we have x minus 2 equal to 0 or x plus 6 equal to 0 so x minus 2 equal to 0 or x plus 6 equal to 0 so from this we get x is equal to plus 2 or x is equal to minus 6 so here take minus 2 to the right side it becomes plus 2 here take plus 6 to the right side it becomes minus 6 therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation are 2 and minus 6 so that we have to write so therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation are 2 and minus 6 so this is a sixth bit next we have to solve seventh bit this is the seventh bit in the first problem as 3x square minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0 so here x square coefficient is 3 x coefficient is minus 5 constant is a plus 2 so multiply the coefficient of x square by the constant so here uh, 3 into 2 so coefficient of x square is a 3 constant is a 2 we get a 3 into 2 is a 6 so now you have to select two factors for 6 their product should be plus 6 sum should be minus 5 so i am taking here uh, minus 3 into minus 2 minus 3 into minus 2 equal to plus 6 minus 3 minus 2 equal to minus 5 so these two are the factors okay so now see here how can we write so first write 3x square as usual but split this minus 5x as minus 3x minus 2x minus 3x minus 2x so i am writing here minus 3x minus 2x write plus 2 as usual plus 2 is equal to 0 so in the first two terms 3x is common so now uh, take 3x as common it becomes 3x into so here x will be here minus 1 will be so in the uh, last two terms so minus 1 is common sorry minus 2 is common minus 2 is common so here x will be here minus 1 will be 
is equal to 0. Again, if you multiply with 3x, 3x into x, 3x square, 3x into minus 1, minus 3x. So here again multiply by minus 2, minus 2 into x, minus 2x, minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2. So now x minus 1 is common in both the terms. So I am taking x minus 1 as common. So x minus 1 is common. So here we get 3x and here there is minus 2 is equal to 0. So either x minus 1 equal to 0 or 3x minus 2 equal to 0. So either x minus 1 equal to 0 or 3x minus 2 equal to 0. So here take minus 1 to the right side it becomes plus 1. x is equal to 1 or take minus 2 to the right side it becomes 3x equal to plus 2. Uh, that implies uh, x is equal to 2 by 3. So take 3 to the right side here multiplying it divides. Therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation are 1 and 2 by 3. So that we have to write. Uh, therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation are 1 and 2 by 3. So this is the seventh bit. Next we have to solve eighth bit. Uh, this is the eighth bit in the first problem. X minus 3 by X is equal to 2. X is not equal to 0. So see here uh, just we have to uh, simplify. So find LCM. So here it becomes uh, X square minus 3 divided by X is equal to 2. So now take x to the just uh, find LCM x is the LCM here uh, uh, x, x by 1 is there here. So x into x x square x x gets cancelled minus 3. So from this take x to the uh, right side uh, here we get of x square minus 3 is equal to x into 2 it becomes 2x. So now take uh, 2x to the uh, left side. So what we get see here x square minus 3 minus 2x is equal to 0. So it is not in standard form. Just write 2x next 3. So just write x square as usual. x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So now the given equation uh, uh, see here this is the quadratic equation x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So the given equation has changed to x square minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. So now how to find the factors. So here the coefficient of x square is 1 and the coefficient of x is minus 2 constant is minus 3. So multiply the coefficient of x square by the constant that is 1 into minus 3 is minus 3. See here. 1 into minus 3 equal to minus 3 here. So these two are the factors only. 1 minus 3 equal to minus 2. So now we have to write. So see here write x square as usual. But this minus 2x write as x minus 3x plus x minus 3x plus x minus 3x and write minus 3 is equal to 0. So in these two terms what is common? x is common. So take x as common. In x square 1 x will be here x is common only plus 1 will be. So in these two minus 3 is common. So take minus 3 as common. So here x will be here plus 1 will be is equal to 0. So in these two terms x plus 1 is common. So, so now I am writing here. So if you take x plus 1 as common. So what will be here? So if x plus 1 is common here x is there. Here minus 3 is there. So here x plus 1 is common. x minus 3 will be equal to 0. So either x plus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 3 equal to 0. So here x plus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 3 equal to 0. So take plus 1 to the right side it becomes uh, x is equal to minus 1 or x is equal to plus 3. 
take minus 3 to the right side it becomes plus 3 therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation are minus 1 and 3 minus 1 and 3 so that we have to write therefore so therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation are minus 1 and 3 so this is the eighth bit next we have to solve ninth bit uh, this is the ninth bit in the first problem uh, 3 into x minus 4 whole square minus 5 into x minus 4 is equal to 12 so here uh, just to have to expand this using a minus b whole square or we can uh, let this x minus 4 is some other constant some other variable so here i am suggesting easy method uh, uh, let this x minus 4 is equal to uh, let x minus 4 is equal to m let x minus 4 is equal to m then the given equation becomes So let x minus 4 is equal to m then the given equation becomes 3 into so x minus 4 is m so square is there it becomes 3m square minus 5 into x minus 4 equal to m minus 5m is equal to 12. So now the given equation becomes 3m square minus 5m is equal to 12. So now take 12 to the left side it becomes 3m square minus 5m minus 12 equal to 0. So here the variable is m. First you have to find the values of m. Then after we have to substitute here to get the values of x. So here the coefficient of m square is 3 and the coefficient of m is minus 5 and the constant is minus 12. So multiply the coefficient of m square by constant. So now I am multiplying. So here it is 3 into minus 12 equal to minus 36. So now I have to select two factors for minus 36. Their product should be minus 36. Their sum should be minus 5. So now I am selecting these two factors minus 9 into 4 is equal to minus 36 and minus 9 plus 4 equal to minus 5 so these two are the factors so see here now it can be written as a uh, uh, see here uh, write uh, 3m square as usual but this minus 5m write as minus 9m plus 4m so minus 9m plus 4m minus 12 equal to 0 so just uh, here what is common 3m is common so take 3m as common so here m will be so here minus 3 will be so again if you multiply 3m into m 3m square 3m into minus 3 minus 9m so in the last two terms of plus 4 is common plus 4 plus 4 into so here m will be here minus 3 is equal to 0 so again if you multiply by 4 4 into m 4m 4 into minus 3 minus 12 again m minus 3 is common in both the terms so write m minus 3 is common so m minus 3 into so here 3m is there so here plus 4 is there is equal to 0 so now either m minus 3 equal to 0 or 3m plus 4 equal to 0. So now see here I am writing here. So one more step. Either m minus 3 equal to 0 or 3m plus 4 is equal to 0. So from this we get to take minus 3 to the right side. Here m is equal to we get a plus 3. So if you take minus 3 to the right side it becomes plus 3 here take plus 4 to the right side it becomes a, a 3m is equal to minus 4 3m is equal to minus 4 so plus 4 to the right side it becomes minus 4 so that implies here m is equal to minus 4 by 3 
टेक थ्री टू द राइट साइड इट डिवाइड्स एम इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर बै थ्री बट वाट इज एम बट एम इज ईक्वल टू एक्स मैनस फोर बट एम इज ईक्वल टू एक्स मैनस फोर देर फोर वेर एवर एम इज देर रईट एक्स मैनस फोर सो हियर एक्स मैनस फोर इज ईक्वल टू थ्री और हियर आलो एम इज देर एक्स मैनस फोर इज ईक्वल टू माइनस फोर बै थ्री एक्स मैनस फोर ईक्वल टू माइनस फोर बै थ्री सो टेक माइनस फोर टू द रईट सैड इट बिकम्स एक्स इज ईक्वल टू थ्री प्लस फोर दट इंप्लाइज एक्स इज ईक्वल टू सेवन आर हियर एक्स इज ईक्वल टू टेक माइनस फोर टू द रईट सैड हियर आलरे माइनस फोर बै थ्री इज देर इट इज बिकम्स प्लस फोर सो थ्री इज द एल सी एम हियर फाइंड एल सी एम सो माइनस फोर एंड वन इज देर थ्री इंटू फोर इज ट्वेल्व सो माइनस फोर प्लस ट्वेल्व इज एट बै थ्री एट बै थ्री सो हियर एक्स ईक्वल टू सेवन एंड एक्स ईक्वल टू एट बै थ्री देर फोर द रूट्स ऑफ द गिवेन क्वारटिक इक्वेशन आर सेवन एंड एट बै थ्री देर फोर देर फोर द रूट्स ऑफ द गिवेन क्वारटिक इक्वेशन आर सेवन एंड एट बै थ्री so this is the ninth bit in the first problem so there are totally nine bits we have completed all the nine bits uh, that's all today's class thanks for watching we will meet in the next class hi hello welcome to my channel learn more maths my name is varakumar today we are going to solve a second problem from fifth chapter quadratic equations uh, x is 5.2 uh, this is the second problem uh, see here what he is asking find two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182 so here he has given this first we have to form a quadratic equation using the situation so let one number be x so see here uh, let one of the two numbers be x since their sum is 27 uh, see here uh, since their sum is 27 the other number is equal to 27 minus x so here uh, let one number be x then the other becomes 27 minus x since the sum is 27 suppose if one number is 10 then the other number is 27 minus 10 is 17 so that uh, now the two numbers are x and 27 minus x so their product he has given 182 so their product their product equal to 182 so that is here uh, x into 27 minus x is equal to 182 so product means you have to multiply the numbers so here the numbers are x and 27 minus x is equal to 182 so just to multiply by x so what we get see here x into 27 we get 27x x into minus x minus x square is equal to 182 is there on the right side right 182 so now take these two terms to the right side so here what we get see here uh, here already 182 is there uh, take 27x to the right side it becomes minus 27x take minus x square to the right side it becomes plus x square is equal to 0 So now uh, write the give write this equation in standard form. So first we have to write x square term, then x square term, then constant. So now I am rearranging the terms. So first write x square next to minus twenty seven x plus one eighty two is equal to zero. So now uh, the given situation from the given situation we have formed a quadratic equation. X square minus twenty seven x plus one eighty two equal to zero. So now how to solve by factorization? So here the x square coefficient is one, x coefficient is minus twenty seven, 
and the constant is 182 so multiply the coefficient of x square with constant so here what we get see here 1 into 182 1 into 182 is equal to 182 now we have to select two factors for 182 here the condition is their product should be 182 and the sum should be minus 27 so for that uh, how can we get the product factors see here now we have to resolve this 182 into factors so see here divide by 2 2 nines are 18 2 ones are 2 so next uh, it is not divisible by 2 3 and it is divisible by 7 so 7 ones are 7 uh, 21 is there 7 3s are 21 so once check up so 2 into 91 is 182 but 2 plus 91 is not equal to minus 27 so if you take 2 into 7 14 so see here now I am checking 14 into 13 14 into 13 I am checking or uh, see here 2 into 7 14 14 into 13 equal to how much 182 so but here we require negative so we have to take minus 14 into minus 13 is equal to plus 182 and minus 14 plus minus 13 is equal to minus 27 so these two are the factors so how can we write see here write the first term x square as usual but this minus 27 x we have to write as a minus 14 x minus 13 x so i am writing minus 13 x minus 14 x plus 182 is equal to 0 so just we have to split the middle term write x square as usual but this minus 27 x i have written as minus 13 x minus 14 x write plus 182 as usual is equal to 0 so now uh, what is common in the first two terms <coughs> so see here uh, in first two terms x is common so write x is common so what will be so here x minus 13 we get x minus 13 so here in the last two terms so minus 14 is common so minus 14 is common so here we get again x minus 13 x minus 13 is equal to 0 so here again x minus 13 is common here x minus 13 is common so if you take x minus 13 as common so here x minus 13 into so here x is there here minus 14 is there so x minus 13 into x minus 14 is equal to uh, 0 so now x minus 13 equal to 0 or x minus 13 equal to 0 or x minus 14 equal to 0 x minus 14 equal to 0 so from this what we get see here take minus 13 to the right side we get x is equal to plus 13 or x is equal to plus 14 take minus 14 to the right side it becomes x equal to 14 so if x equal to 13 that is equal to 14 so if x is equal to 13 then 27 minus x equal to 27 minus 13 that is 14 so next we have second one if x is equal to 4 equal to 13 so if x is equal to 14 then 27 minus x equal to 27 minus 14 that is 13 therefore the two numbers are 13 and 14 are 14 and 13 therefore the two numbers are so we have to write therefore the two numbers equal to 13 and 14 so once check their sum is 27 so check 13 plus 14 is 27 their product is 182 if you multiply 13 and 14 we get 182 so like this we can solve uh, this is the second problem in uh, 5.2 x as next we have to solve third problem uh, this is the third problem from 5.2 x as uh, uh, see here what he has given find two consecutive positive integers uh, sum of whose squares is 613 so here again from the given situation first we have to form a quadratic equation 
then we have to solve <coughs> so here consecutive means uh, so one after other suppose if one number is 10 then the other is 11 so next coming number so if one number is x then the other is x plus 1 so let the two consecutive positive integers uh, be x comma x plus 1 so their squares sum of the squares that is uh, see here how can we write uh, so let uh, so let the two consecutive positive integers be x comma x plus 1 he is saying that sum of their squares is 613 so but the but the sum of their squares is 613 so that is how can we write it is uh, x square plus x plus 1 whole square is equal to 613 so their squares is x square and x plus 1 whole square sum means we have to add sum of their squares x square and x plus 1 whole square are their squares sum means we have to add so see here x square plus x plus 1 whole square is equal to 613 so now write this x square as usual but the second one is in the form a plus b whole square a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square so here a square is x square plus 2ab 2 into x into 1 plus b square is 1 square is equal to 613 so just you have to simplify here uh, x square plus x square so we get a 2x square 2x square so 2 into x into 1 we get a 2x plus 1 square is 1 so take 613 to the left side we get minus 613 is uh, equal to 0 <coughs> now <coughs> so now just we have to simplify again uh, see here write 2x square uh, plus uh, 2x as usual so plus 1 no minus 613 we get uh, minus 612 is equal to 0 so here we can take 2 as common so here uh, if you write 2 as common here x square plus what is there x minus uh, 306 we get 306 is equal to 0 so if you take 2 to the right side it becomes 0 by 2 0 by 2 is 0 again so finally we get uh, x square plus x minus 306 is equal to 0 so now this is the formed uh, quadratic equation from the uh, given situation so now we have to solve this so here the x square coefficient is 1, x coefficient is 1, constant is minus 306. So multiply the x square coefficient with constant. So here 1 into minus 306, 1 into minus 306 we get minus 306. So now we have to resolve 306 into two factors. Here the condition is their product should be minus 306 and sum should be plus 1. So what we get see here just we have to resolve into factors 306 or divide by 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 5s are 10, 2 3s are 6. So 2 into 153 is, 153 is not possible. So again further divide by 3. So 3 5s are 15 next 3 ones are 3 2 into 3 6 6 into 51 is also not possible again divide by 3 so 3 ones are 3 21 3 sevens are 21 so now once check 2 into 3 6 6 into 3 18 18 into 17 is possible so here but we have to take plus 18 into minus 17 is equal to minus 306 and plus 18 minus 17 we get plus 1 so see here how can we write so write this x square as usual but this uh, plus x we can write as uh, plus 18x minus 17x plus 18x minus 17x 
minus 306 is equal to uh, 0. So now from the first two terms uh, we take x common. So x is common in the first two terms. So if we take x is common what we get see here x into x plus 18. So in the first two terms take x is common we get x plus 18. So in this last two terms so minus 17 is common. So write minus 17 is common again we can get x plus 18 is equal to 0. So here if you take minus 17 as common here we get x minus 306 can be written as minus 17 into plus 18. So if you write minus 17 common so again plus 18 will be. So here x plus 18 is common x plus 18 is common. So here x is there here minus 17 is there x minus 17 is equal to 0. So here x plus 18 equal to 0 or x minus 17 equal to 0. So here take plus 18 to the right side we get x is equal to minus 18 or take minus 17 to the right side x is equal to plus 17. So here since the given numbers are positive integers we have to take only a positive number. So here therefore 18. So if x is equal to 17 then x plus 1 is equal to 17 plus 1 that is 18. Therefore the two consecutive so therefore the two consecutive positive integers equal to 17 and 18. So like this we can find uh, this is the third problem in the 5.2 exercise. Uh, next we have to solve fourth problem. Uh, this is the fourth problem in 5.2 exercise. Uh, see here what he has given. The altitude of a right angled triangle is 7 centimeters less than its base. If the hypotenuse is 13 centimeters, find the other two sides. Find the other two sides. So see here it is about a right angled triangle. So this is a right angled triangle. So here what he is saying the hypoten the altitude is 7 cm less than its base. So altitude means height. Height is comparing with the base. So let the base of the right angled triangle be x cm. Let the base be x. Then altitude becomes x minus 7 since it is 7 centimeter less so it becomes x minus 7 and he has given the hypotenuse is 13 centimeters so this is hypotenuse he has given it is 13 centimeters so here uh, uh, we have to find the other two sides are nothing but base and altitude so see here how can we find uh, let the base of the right angle triangle is x centimeters so see here let the base of the right triangle be x centimeters then its altitude becomes x minus 7 centimeters so and he has given that hypotenuse is so given that its hypotenuse equal to 13 centimeters so according to Pythagoras theorem we have hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square so see here we have so according to Pythagoras theorem we have base square plus altitude square equal to hypotenuse square so here base is x so base square becomes x square and altitude is x minus 7 altitude square is there so it becomes x minus 7 whole square hypotenuse is 13 so hypotenuse square is there it becomes 13 square so we have x square plus x minus 7 whole square equal to 13 square so see here just to have to simplify so write x square as usual but this x minus 7 whole square is in the form a minus b whole square a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square so here a square is x square minus 2ab is 2 into x into 7 plus b square is 7 square is equal to 13 square so now just we have to simplify again x square plus x square becomes 2x square 
so 2 into x 2x into 7 minus 14x so plus 7 square is 49 so take uh, so is equal to 13 square is 169 13 square is 169 so now take 169 to the uh, left side finally we have 2x square minus 14x plus 49 minus 169 is equal to 0 so here uh, we get 2x square minus 14x plus 49 minus 169 we get minus 120 minus 120 is equal to 0 so here we can take 2 as common so what we get finally so if we take 2 as common so finally we get uh, 2 into x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0 so here if you take 2 as common here x square minus 7x minus 60 equal to a 0 take 2 to the right side finally we get a x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to a 0 so this is the formed quadratic equation from the given situation so now we have to solve here the x square coefficient is 1 x coefficient is minus 7 and the constant is minus 60 so multiply x square coefficient with constant so that is 1 into minus 60 is equal to minus 60 so now we have to find factors of minus 60 the, the condition is their product should be minus 60 and the sum should be minus 7 so here how can we find the factors just resolve into factors 2 into 30 so next 2 into 15 and 3 into 5 so just we have to select so 2 into 30 is not possible 4 into 15 is also not possible but here uh, 2 into 2 4 4 into 3 12 12 into 5 is 60 yes it is possible so but here we have to take minus 12 plus 5 minus 12 plus 5 is minus 60 and minus 12 plus 5 is equal to minus 7 so here minus 12 plus 5 are the factors minus 12 into plus 5 is minus 60 minus 12 plus 5 is equal to minus 7 so here uh, write x square as usual but this minus 7x can be written as a minus 12x plus 5x minus 12x plus 5x minus 60 is equal to 0 so in the first two terms x is common so take x as common we get x minus 12 here so in the last two terms plus 5 is common so here we get x minus 12 again is equal to 0 so just see here uh, in these two terms x is common here we get x here minus 12 so in these two terms plus 5 is common here we get x so 60 can be written as 5 into 12 so 5 is common here 12 is there so totally x minus 12 is common x minus 12 into x plus 5 is equal to 0 so here uh, x minus 12 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0 x plus 5 is equal to 0 so take minus 12 to the right side we get here x is equal to 12 or x is equal to minus 5 so since uh, x is the base uh, we have to take only positive so we have to take only positive here uh, uh, x is equal to 12 only if x is equal to 12 then x minus 7 is equal to which is equal to 5 so therefore x value is nothing but base base equal to 12 centimeters and x minus 7 is nothing but altitude altitude is equal to 5 centimeters so find the other two sides therefore the other two sides are I am writing here so therefore the other two sides equal to 12 centimeters and 5 centimeters so this is the fourth problem in 5.2 x size so that's all today's class we will meet in the next class with another problem thanks for watching
hi hello welcome to my channel learn more maths uh, today we are going to solve a problem from a uh, fifth chapter quadratic equations uh, exercise 5.2 fifth problem uh, see here what he is asking to find us a cottage industry produces a certain number of pottery articles in a day it was observed on a particular day the cost of production of each article in rupees was three more than twice the number of articles produced on that day. If the total cost of production on that day was rupees 90, find the number of articles produced and the cost of each article. So here if you see the problem is very lengthy but it is very easy. So there is an industry they produces some articles. So he is comparing the number of articles with the cost of price. So first uh, we don't know the number of articles. Let the number of articles produced be x. Let the number of articles produced be x. So he is comparing the cost with the number of articles. So what it is see here, the, the, if, if each article was 3 more than twice the number of articles, the cost of each article, the cost of each article is 3 more than twice the number of articles. So that is 3 more than means we have to add 3, twice the number of articles. So number of articles are x, twice means we have to multiply by 2. So 3 more than means we have to add 3. So the, then the cost of each article becomes uh, rupees 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3. So here the total cost on one day is uh, uh, in one day is rupees 90 has given. Suppose uh, if they produces 100 articles, if they produces 100 articles and the cost of each article is 200 then how can we get the total cost by multiplying the number of articles with the cost of each article we can get the total cost on that particular day so here also we have to multiply to get the total cost so see here what he has given is 90 since the total cost on that particular day is rupees 90 so that is we can write uh, how can we get the total cost so number of articles into cost of each article. So number of articles are x and the cost of each article is 2x plus 3. So x into 2x plus 3 is equal to how much? 90. So here this is the relation we have. So now just you have to simplify multiply by x we can get x into 2x is 2x square and x into plus 3 is plus 3x is equal to how much 90 so now take 90 to the left side uh, we get uh, 2x square plus 3x minus 90 is equal to 0 so this is the quadratic equation we have now how to find the factors for this quadratic equation so here the coefficient of x square is 2 the coefficient of x is 3 and the constant is minus 90 so now we have to multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant so here the coefficient of x square is a 2 so i am multiplying here and the constant is minus 90 2 into minus 90 is minus 180 now we have to select two factors for minus 180 their product should be minus 180 but their sum should be plus 3 so now how to resolve into factors so see here 290s are 180 again 2 into 45 so now it is not divisible by 2 3 into 15 so see here just we have to check 2 into 2 4 4 into 3 12 12 into 15 is 180 so here it is minus 180 is there we have to take one is positive and the other is negative since it is plus 3 we have to take 15 is positive so here we get a minus 12 into plus 15 
is equal to minus 180 minus 12 plus 15 is equal to plus 3. So now uh, minus 12 and plus 15 are the factors. So see here how can we write, write this 2x square as usual but this plus 3x write as minus 12x and plus 15x minus 12x plus 15x and write minus 90 as usual is equal to 0. So just I have written plus 3x as minus 12x plus 15x. So in the first two terms 2x is common. So I am writing 2x as common. So here what will be x will be. So here minus 6 will be. So in the last two terms plus 15 is common. So if you take first plus 15 here x here minus 6 again is equal to 0. So again we can take x minus 6 is common. So here x minus 6 is common x minus 6 into here 2x is there. So 2x here plus 15 is there plus 15 is equal to 0. So now x minus 6 equal to 0 or 2x plus 15 equal to uh, 0. So see here I am writing here. Uh, x minus 6 equal to 0 or 2x plus 15 equal to 0. So from this we can get x is equal to take minus 6 to the right side we get x is equal to plus 6. So here 2x is equal to take plus 15 to the right side it becomes minus 15. Uh, from here we get x is equal to minus 15 divided by 2 take 2 to the right side here multiplying it divides. So now we have x equal to 6 and x equal to minus 15 by 2. So what is x actually? Number of articles. So number of articles never be negative. It must be positive only. So see here since x is a number of articles only. So we have to write the number of articles never be negative so it is negative therefore x is equal to only 6 so if x is equal to 6 uh, then the cost of each article is 2x plus 3 therefore if x is equal to 6 so 2x plus 3 is equal to 2 into 6 plus 3 2 into 6 so 2 into 6 is 12 plus 3 12 plus 3 is equal to 15 so therefore uh, the number of articles equal to 6 therefore and, uh, therefore the number of articles is equal to 6 and the cost of each article equal to rupees 15 so like this we can find therefore the number of articles equal to 6 and the cost of each article equal to rupees 15 so this is a fifth problem in 5.2 exercise next to have to solve sixth problem uh, this is the sixth problem in exercise 5.2. Uh, see here what he is asking to find as a find the dimensions of a rectangle whose perimeter is 28 meters and whose area is 40 square meters. So he has given perimeter and area of the rectangle. He is asking to find as the dimensions that they are nothing but length and breadth of the rectangle. So see here, uh, let the length of the rectangle be small l meters and its breadth be small b meters. Since he has given in square meters and meters, uh, we have to take in meters. So here, uh, its area is uh, how much? Its perimeter is 28 meters. So perimeter. So what is the formula for perimeter of the rectangle? 2 into L plus B, 2 into L plus B is equal to 28. So see here, uh, 2, into, uh, 2 into L plus B equal to 28, take 2 to the right side, uh, it becomes uh, L plus B is equal to 28 divided by 2. So 28 divided by 2 is equal to 14. So now uh, take uh, B to the right side again we get L is equal to L is equal to 14 minus B. L is equal to 14 minus B. 
so let it is equation number one so and also it has given area of the rectangle but area but its area is equal to how much 40 square meters or 40 meters square so here area what is the formula area of the rectangle l into b is equal to 40 so from equation 1 i am writing l is equal to what 14 minus b 14 minus b into b is equal to 40 since from equation 1 from equation 1 so since from equation 1 l is what is there 14 minus b instead of l i have written 14 minus b into b equal to 40 so just to multiply 14 into b 14 b minus b into b minus b square and take 40 to the uh, is equal to what 40 so now take these two terms to the right side so what we get i am writing so here already 40 is there 40 minus b square becomes plus b square and plus 14b becomes minus 14b is equal to 0 so now uh, it is not in standard form just we have to write in order first write b square next after b term minus 14b next after constant plus 40 equal to 0 so now it is in standard form first we have to write b square then b then constant so this is the required quadratic equation b square minus 14b plus 40 equal to 0 so now how to solve it is a quadratic equation in variable b so here the coefficient of b square is 1 and the coefficient of b is minus 14 constant is plus 40 so multiply the coefficient of b square uh, with constant that is 1 into 40 is equal to 40 so now I have to select two factors to the 40 their product should be 40 some should be minus 14 so I am selecting minus 4 into minus 10 is equal to plus 40 minus 4 minus 10 is equal to minus 14 so here uh, write b square as usual but this minus 14b can be written as minus 4b minus 10b so minus 14b write as minus 4b minus 10b so next write plus 40 as usual plus 40 is equal to 0 so in the first two terms what is common b is common so write b as common we get b minus 4 so in the last two terms so minus 10 is common again we get b minus 4 is equal to 0 so if you take b is common here 1 b and minus 4 so in these two take minus 10 common here b and here minus 4 so totally b minus 4 is common a b minus 4 is common so here we get a b and here minus 10 equal to 0 so finally we get a b minus 4 equal to 0 or b minus 10 equal to 0 so we get b is equal to 4 or b is equal to 10 so take minus 4 to the right side it becomes plus 4 take minus 10 to the right side it becomes plus 10 so if b equal to 4 l is equal to minus b l is equal to 14 minus b that is 14 minus 4 which is equal to 10 so, so see here if b is equal to 4 then l is equal to 10 if b is equal to 10 then l is equal to 4 so the dimensions are 4 and 10 meters therefore the dimensions of the rectangle are uh, therefore the dimensions of the rectangle equal to 4 meters and 10 meters so this is the sixth problem in 5.2 exercise next we have to solve seventh problem this is the seventh problem from 5.2 exercise uh, uh, see here what he is asking to find us the base of a triangle is 4 centimeter longer than its altitude if the area of the triangle is 48 square centimeters then find its base and altitude so here he is comparing the altitude of uh, 
uh, sir is comparing the base of the triangle with its altitude altitude is nothing but height so here uh, a base is 4 centimeters longer than its height so let the height of the triangle be x let the height of the triangle be x since the base is 4 centimeter longer than altitude so the base becomes x plus 4 centimeters so that we have to write see here so let the height of the triangle h is equal to x centimeters then its base becomes b equal to x plus 4 centimeters why he is saying that base of a triangle is 4 centimeter longer than its altitude altitude is nothing but height so longer means we have to add plus 4 so but its area equal to 48 centimeter square he has given but its area equal to forty eight square centimeters so that is area of the triangle what is the formula half into b into h is equal to forty eight so write uh, half into b is base of the triangle how much it is x plus four into h is height of the triangle how much it is x is equal to forty eight so now take 1 by 2 to the right side here x into multiply these two x into x we get x square plus 4 into x we get plus 4x is equal to 48 into 2. So if you take 2 to the right side here it is dividing it multiplies. So now uh, finally we get x square plus 4x so here equal to 96 48 into 2 how much 96 take 96 to the right, uh, left side finally we get x square plus 4x minus 96 equal to 0 so now it is a quadratic equation in variable x so now we have to solve coefficient of x square is 1 coefficient of x is 4 and the constant is minus 96 so multiply the coefficient of x square with constant uh, that is a uh, 1 into minus 96 equal to minus 96 so now how to select factors for minus 96 their product should be minus 96 some should be plus 4 so we have to select 12 into minus 8 12 into minus 8 is minus 96 and 12 minus 8 equal to plus 4 so now see here how can we write write x square as as well but this plus 4x can be written as 12x minus 8x write minus 96 as as well is equal to 0 just i have written this 4x as a plus 12x minus 8x so now uh, in these two x is common so take x is common what we get here x plus 12 so in these two minus 8 is common so here also we can get x plus 12 equal to 0 so just uh, in first two terms so I have taken x is common in x square x is common 1x will be in 12x x is common plus 12 is there in these two minus 8 is common here x is there and plus 12 so totally we can get x plus 12 is common so see here so x plus 12 is common if you take x plus 12 common so here x is there here minus 8 is there so x plus 12 into x minus 8 equal to 0 so now x plus 12 equal to 0 or x minus 8 equal to 0 so take plus 12 to the right side it becomes minus 12 x is equal to minus 12 or x is equal to plus 8 take minus 8 to the right side it becomes plus 8 so what is x since x is height of the triangle it must be positive since see here since x is the height of the triangle it must be positive so what is the positive value here x equal to 8 therefore x is equal to 8 only so if x is equal to 8 
see here if x is equal to 8 then b is equal to x plus 4 that is 8 plus 4 is 12 so therefore uh, the base of uh, the base is equal to see here therefore its base equal to 12 centimeters and its altitude equal to 8 centimeters so like this we can solve so this is the seventh problem in exercise 5.2 so that's all today's class we will meet in the next class thanks for watching hi hello welcome to my channel learn more maths my name is varakumar today we are going to solve a problem from fifth chapter quadratic equations exercise 5.2 eighth problem so see here what he has given two trains leave a railway station at the same time the first train travels towards west and the second train towards north the first train travels 5 km per hour faster than the second train if after 2 hours they are 50 km apart find the average speed of each train so this is very important uh, he asked so many times for 4 marks just you have to understand very clearly so see here uh, two trains these are the directions you must have clear idea about the directions this is east west north south so this is the railway station so from here first train is traveling towards the west direction and the second train is traveling towards the north direction and they are starting at the same time so here he has given he is comparing the speeds the speed of the first train is 5 km per hour faster than the second train. So if the speed of the uh, first train, if the speed of the second train is 10 kmph, then the first becomes 15. If the speed of the uh, second becomes 20, then the first becomes 25. So it is 5 km faster. So see here let the speed let the speed of the second train let the speed of the second train be x kmph kmph stands for kilometer per hour kilometer per hour so here then the speed of the first train equal to x plus 5 kmph why it is 5 kilometer faster than the second one so the speed of the first one becomes x plus y so see here what it means actually if the speed of a train is 50 kmph what it means in one hour it travels 50 kilometers okay in one hour the train travels a distance of 50 kilometers if the speed is 20 kmph what it means in one hour a train travels 20 kilometers distance so in the same way uh, see here distance traveled by the first train in two hours so how can we get two into speed so see here here the speed of the first train equal to x plus 5 kmph that is in one hour it travels x plus 5 kilometers in two hours how much distance it travels two into x plus 5 uh, that is uh, multiply by two two into x two x two into five is ten so 2x plus 10 kilometers so in two hours the distance covered or the distance traveled by the first train is 2 into x plus 5 kilometers in the same way and the distance traveled by the second train equal to the speed of the second train is x kmph then the distance traveled by it in two hours is equal to 2 into x that is 2x kilometers so this is the distance traveled by the second train in two hours is 2x kilometers. So here the given situation, the given situation forms a right triangle as shown in the above figure. Yes, it is forming a right, right angled triangle. So according to Pythagoras theorem, we know a square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. So that is we can get 2x whole square plus 2x plus 10 whole square equal to 50 square so see here how can we write so according to Pythagoras theorem 
So base square plus height square is equal to hypotenuse square. Here base is 2 into x plus 5 that is 2x plus 10. Height is 2x. Hypotenuse is 50. So we can get base square that is 2x plus 10 whole square. 2x plus 10 whole square. Plus height square. Height square is 2x whole square is equal to hypotenuse whole square that is 50 whole square so now we have to simplify so it is in the form a plus b whole square a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so here a square is 2x whole square 2x whole square plus 2ab that is 2 into 2x into 10 plus b square b square is 10 whole square plus here 2x whole square is equal is 4x square so in the same way 50 whole square is 50 into 50 we can get 2500 2500 so just we have to simplify again further so here 2x whole square is 4x square so here 2 into 2x is 4x 4x into 10 is 40x so plus 40x so here plus 10 square is 100 so right plus 4x square so now take this 2500 to the left side it becomes minus 2500 is equal to 0 so now we have to add the like terms 4x square plus 4x square so it becomes 8x square so I am writing here 8x square so plus 40x what is there here plus 40x so here plus 100 minus 2500 it becomes minus 2400 minus 2400 is equal to 0 so here uh, we can take 8 common so I am taking 8 as common so x square plus 5x minus 300 is equal to 0 so I have taken 8 as common so here we can get x square here 5x here 300 again if you multiply by 8 you can get 8 into x square 8x square 8 into 5x 40x 8 into minus 300 minus 2400 so take 8 to the right side here it is multiplying it divides 0 by 8 again we get 0 only so finally we get x square plus 5x minus 300 is equal to 0 so now the given situation from the given situation we have formed a quadratic equation in variable x so x square plus 5x minus 300 equal to 0. So now how to solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. So we get x value. So if we get x value we can get the speed of the trains. So see here how can we solve it. So we have x square plus 5x minus 300 equal to 0. So here the coefficient of x square is 1 and the coefficient of x is 5. Um, constant is minus 300. So multiply the coefficient of x square with constant that is 1 into minus 300 we get a, a 1 into minus 300 is equal to minus 300. So now we have to select two factors for minus 300. So here the condition is their product should be minus 300 and sum should be plus 5. Sum should be plus 5. So here uh, we, we it is very easy. So 20 into minus 15 is equal to minus 300. So 15 twos are 30. So here 20 is there 300. So 20 minus 15 is equal to plus 5. So plus 20 minus 15 are the factors. So here write the x square as usual. And this plus 5x can be written as plus 20x minus 15x. And write minus 300 as usual is equal to 0. So here in these two x is common. So see here if you take x is common. So here x is there. So here plus 20 will be. So in these two minus 15 is common. 
so if you take minus 15 as common here we get x plus 20 again is equal to 0 so totally x plus 20 is common here so x plus 20 into so here we get x here we get minus 15 is equal to 0 so here x plus 20 is equal to 0 x plus 20 is equal to 0 or x minus 15 is equal to 0 so here x is equal to take plus 20 to the right side becomes minus 20 or here take minus 15 to the right side becomes plus 15 so now we have two values for x x equal to minus 20 and x equal to 15 so what is x here speed of the train so speed of the train since x is the speed of the train it must be positive always therefore x equal to 15 since so since x is the speed of the train it must be positive always therefore x is equal to 15 so if x is equal to 15 x plus 5 is equal to how much so if x is equal to 15 then x plus 5 is equal to 15 plus 5 is 20 therefore speeds of the train are 15 kmph and 20 kmph therefore so therefore the speeds of the trains are 15 kmph and 20 kmph so this is the eighth problem so very very important just you have to practice uh, two three times uh, you can get perfect so next we have to solve a ninth problem uh, this is the ninth problem in exercise 5.0 uh, see here what he is asking to find as a uh, in a class of 60 students each boy contributed rupees equal to the number of girls and each girl contributed rupees equal to the number of boys if the total money then collected was rupees 1600 how many boys were there in the class so here uh, there are 60 students in a class total students boys plus girls total students in the class equal to 60 so here he is saying that uh, number of boys we don't know and the number of girls we don't know so he is saying that each boy contributed equal to the number of girls so suppose if there are among 60 if there are uh, 50 girls in the class then each boy contributed 50 rupees suppose if there are uh, 10 girls in the class each boy contributed rupees 10 so in the same way uh, each girl contributed the money equal to the number of boys suppose if there are 30 boys in the class each girl contributed rupees 30 so like this the total money was collected rupees 1600 he is saying so here uh, 1600 is equal to how can we find so contribution of total boys and the contribution of total girls so sum of the contributions of total boys and total girls is equal to 1600 so see here let the number of boys in the class be x so we don't know see here a total number of students in the class equal to 60 let the number of boys be x let the number of boys be x so then the number of girls equal to how much 60 minus x since if there are tot the, the total students in the class equal to 60 if the boys are x then girls equal to 60 minus x then the number of girls equal to 60 minus x so therefore contribution of each boy is equal to rupees 60 minus x why he is saying that each boy contributed rupees equal to the number of girls so here the number of girls equal to 60 minus x therefore the contribution of each boy becomes rupees 60 minus x if each boy contributes rupees 60 minus x and that of all boys contribution of all boys equal to x into 60 minus x so total boys are x contribution of each boys is 60 minus x to get the total contribution of boys we have to multiply these two so rupees x into 60 minus x so in the same way 
contribution of each girl equal to rupees x why the total number of boys be x each girl contributed rupees equal to the number of boys so here number of boys equal to x therefore the contribution of each girl equal to rupees x and that of all girls contribution of all girls equal to so each girl contributed rupees x number of girls equal to how much 60 minus x therefore rupees 60 minus x into x so here total amount collected from class equal to rupees 1600 it is nothing but total amount collected from boys plus total amount collected from girls so this is the total amount collected from boys x into 60 minus x this is the total amount collected from girls 60 minus x into x so the sum of these two equal to 1600 so that is x into 60 minus x plus 60 minus x into x is equal to 1600 so just we have to simplify here what we get see here we have to multiply x into 60 60 x x into minus x minus x square here also 60 into x plus 60 x so x into minus x minus x square so take plus 6 uh, is equal to how much here 1600 so now just you have to simplify so plus 60 x plus 60 x it is 120 x minus x square minus x square it becomes minus 2 x square 60 plus 60 120 x so here minus x square minus x square it becomes minus 2 x square is equal to 1600 so now uh, take two common here we get uh, if you take two common here it is 60 x here minus x square is equal to 1600 so here uh, we can cancel uh, finally two ones and two 800 so we have 60 x minus x square is equal to 800 so now take these two terms to the uh, right side finally we get uh, here already 800 is there so minus x square becomes plus x square plus 60x becomes minus 60x is equal to 0 so now it is not in its standard form just we have to write x square minus 60x then after constant term so see here how can we write x square minus 60x plus 800 is equal to 0 so now we have the quadratic equation we have formed a quadratic equation from the given situation so here the coefficient of x square is 1 coefficient of x is minus 60 constant is 800 so multiply the coefficient of x square with constant so coefficient of x square is 1 and 2 constant is 800 1 into 800 equal to 800 so now we have to select two factors for 800 here the condition is uh, if we multiply those two we have to if the the condition is uh, their their product should be plus 800 and their sum should be minus 60 suppose if i select a minus 20 into minus 40 so minus 20 into minus 40 is plus 800 and minus 20 minus 40 is equal to minus 60 so these two are the required factors so write x square as usual but this minus 60x can be written as minus 40x minus 20x plus 800 is equal to 0 so just i have splitted this minus 60x as minus 40x minus 20x so uh, write x square as usual and 800 as usual so in the first two terms x is common so if we take x as common here x uh, here minus 40 is there so in the last two terms minus 20 is common so here x will be again here minus 40 will be is equal to 0 again if you multiply you can get the above step x into x x square x into minus 40 minus 40 x so next uh, 
minus 20 into x minus 20 x minus 20 into minus 40 plus 800 so again x minus 40 is common x minus 40 is common so x minus 40 is common so here x is there here minus 20 is there is equal to 0 so totally x minus 40 is common here x here minus 20 so x minus 40 is equal to 0 or x minus 20 is equal to 0 so finally we get x is equal to 40 or x is equal to 20 so here uh, take minus 40 to the right side it becomes plus 40 take minus 20 to the right side it becomes plus 20 so what is x x is equal to number of boys in the class therefore the number of boys in the class equal to 20 or 40 both are correct if the boys are 20 then girls becomes 40 if the boys are 40 then girls becomes 20 so therefore he is asking only number of boys therefore therefore the number of boys is equal to 20 or 40 so this is the ninth problem in exercise 5.2 next we have to solve 10th problem so this is the 10th problem in exercise 5.2 uh, see here what he has given a motor boat heads upstream a distance of 24 kilometers in a river whose current is running at 3 kilometer per hour the trip up and back takes 6 hours assuming that the motor boat maintained a constant speed what was its speed in still water so see here what he has given so there is a motor boat it, it is traveling in the water so but the water is flowing so here the uh, speed of the stream is 3 kmph he is asking to find as uh, the speed of the boat in still water but here the water is uh, flowing so the total distance is 24 kilometers uh, the boat takes up and down 6 hours time it takes 6 hours time to travel up and down so see here uh, let the speed of the motor boat in still water be x kmph so speed of the stream equal to 3 kmph he has given so here uh, speed of the motor boat in stream in flow direction so is equal to x plus 3 kmph so the speed of the stream will added to the speed of the boat so and the speed of the motor boat in stream in opposite direction of flow suppose flow is coming in the opposite direction and uh, both are coming in opposite direction so one boat is moving to the forward and the flow is uh, coming to the backward so then speed of the boat reduces by the uh, speed of the stream then here speed of the motor boat in uh, stream in opposite direction in flow is equal to x minus 3 kmph speed of the motor boat in stream in opposite direction of flow is equal to x minus 3 kmph that you have to understand so while flowing in the flow direction speed of the boat increases while flowing opposite direction of stream speed of the boat decreases so that you have to remember so in the flow direction speed of the boat equal to x plus 3 where here 3 is the speed of the stream so while flowing in the opposite direction of flow speed of the stream is x minus 3 kmph that you have to remember and the time uh, see here time taken to travel upwards is equal to distance by speed generally we have time is equal to distance by speed here distance is equal to 24 speed is equal to x plus 3 so boat is moving in the flow direction then the speed is x plus 3 so time it is in hours and the time taken and the time taken by the boat in down so here we have to write time
and time taken by the boat in down so let it is t2 again it is distance by speed distance is same 24 kilometers but the speed is x minus 3 kmph so here time in hours so the total time but the total time taken is equal to 6 hours to travel up and down the total time is 6 hours it has given that is a t1 plus t2 equal to 6 hours but we have t1 is equal to 24 by x plus 3 plus t2 is equal to 24 by x minus 3 24 by x minus 3 is equal to 6 is equal to 6 so just we have to simplify this uh, to get a quadratic equation so see here what we get so now we have to simplify it 24 by x plus 3 plus 24 by x minus 3 equal to 6 so we have to find lcm so x plus 3 into x minus 3 is the lcm we get uh, 24 into x minus 3 plus 24 into x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 into x minus 3 x plus 3 into x minus 3 is equal to 6 so see here so x plus 3 into x minus 3 is the lcm here so here 24 into x plus 3 plus 24 into uh, sorry 24 into x minus 3 plus 24 into x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 into x minus 3 is equal to 6 so now just you have to simplify further so multiply by 24 24 into x 24 x 24 into minus 3 minus 72 plus here also 24 into x 24 x 24 into plus 3 plus 72 so here uh, divided by x plus 3 into x minus 3 it is in the form a square minus b square a square is x square minus b square is 3 square so 3 square i am writing directly 9 is equal to 6 so here minus 72 plus 72 gets cancelled so here uh, 24x plus 24x we have 48x 48x uh, is equal to take uh, x square minus 9 to the right side we get a 6 into x square minus 9 so here x square minus 9 is dividing if you take to the right side it multiplies so here we can cancel 6 ones uh, and 6 8s are 48 so we have 8x is equal to x square minus 9 so now take 8x to the right side we get x square minus 9 minus 8x is equal to 0 so just we have to write in standard form we get x square minus 8x minus 9 is equal to 0 so now uh, this is the quadratic equation in variable x so now how to solve to get the value of x x is nothing but speed of the motor boat in still water so here the coefficient of x square is 1 and the coefficient of x is minus 8 constant is minus 9 so multiply the coefficient of x square with constant that we get 1 into minus 9 equal to minus 9 so we have to select two factors to minus 9 so here these two are the factors only 1 minus 9 1 and minus 9 so see here 1 into minus 9 is minus 9 1 minus 9 is minus 8 here 1 minus 9 is equal to minus 8 so how can we write write x square as usual but this minus 8x write as plus x minus 9x so write plus x minus 9x minus 9 is equal to 0 so just write x square as usual but this minus 8x i have written as plus x minus 9x so minus 9 is equal to 0 so in these two x is common so if you take x as common so here x here plus 1 will be so in these two minus 9 is common so if we take minus 9 as common here we get x here plus 1 is equal to 0 so totally we get x plus 1 is common so we have x plus 1 into 
x minus 9 is equal to 0. So either x plus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 9 equal to 0. So x plus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 9 is equal to 0. So we get x is equal to minus 1. Take plus 1 to the right side. It will become so minus 1 or here take minus 9 to the right side. It becomes plus 9. X is equal to 9. So now we have two values for x. One is minus 1 and the other is 9. So actually what is x? x is speed of the boat in still water. So speed must be in positive only. So we have to take uh, only positive value. Since x is the speed of the boat, since x is the speed of the boat, it must be positive. Therefore, x is equal to 9. So here x is nothing but a speed of the boat in still water. Therefore, Therefore, the speed of the boat in still water is equal to 9 kmph. So he is asking to find a speed of the boat in still water. So this is the 10th problem in exercise 5.2. Totally there are 10 problems. We have completed all the 10 problems. So that's all today's class. We will meet in the next class. Thanks for watching.